welcome artists to Art Project Hour and welcome back to my studio. Our homes have become incredibly familiar to us over the past few months of lockdown in Sydney. We may feel really bored looking at these same four walls. Or we could feel a closer relationship and a sense of gratitude for the safety and security our homes provide. And tap your heels together three times. There's, There's no, no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. For many artists, the inside of their home has been the inspiration and location for several or even entire series of their works. This is seen through work showing the viewer entire rooms, close-up views, still life arrangements and vignettes. It is a way for the artist to show our inner voyeur a glimpse into their life and world with these representations in painting, drawing, photography, sculpture, mixed media, digital works and even film. Our homes give away many clues about our family life, likes and dislikes and our personality traits. They are extensions of ourselves. With current circumstances and lockdowns, the veil and boundaries between our home life, our professional life and school life has become increasingly blurred. Our reliance on technology, particularly video conferencing, has increased to maintain a connection with our extended family, friends and colleagues we would ordinarily be able to see in person. With so much of our lives and homes on display, video conferencing software and apps like Zoom and Teams now offer background filters for users to conceal or disguise their home and surrounds to maintain privacy from other people within their virtual group. I think it's a filter. It, in the... it is and I don't know how to remove it. With artistic representations of the home, artists do get to assert some sort of control over what they choose the viewer to see, whether a warts and all reality or a censored and restrained version. Some examples of artists representing the inside of their homes include 19th century artist Vincent van Gogh with his now iconic bedroom in Isle, 20th century expressionist painter Henri Matisse and contemporary Australian artist John Bacor have all used paint as a medium to create incredible images and scenes centred around their home lives. We can't forget works created by using drawing, print, photography and sculpture as a way to express the internal landscapes of our homes. So for this week's task, I want you to look at your home with fresh eyes. You could choose to focus on an entire room or even just select a few items from around your house to focus on. You can create your work as a drawing, a painting, mixed media work, sculpture, photograph or digital work. Each different medium will allow you to represent your house in a unique way. Thank you so much for joining me for Art Project Hour this week. I can't wait to see what you create. Bye.